What up, Dokoners? So we randomly received this Global Dokon Producers Letter video a day after the Bulma banner released, which is kind of a surprise because I was expecting this to happen before part two even was announced, but we got this afterwards. So uh, I skimmed through the video. Don't want to make you guys sit through all of it. Uh, I will link this in the pinned comments. So you guys can go check it out yourselves. But basically in this video, we are just being, uh, I mean, this is just the normal global Dokkan executive platitudes. Like, are, were you surprised? Was this not amazing? You know, they're, they're talking about the new standby skill and how revolutionary it is. Obviously, since you guys are uh, following the channel or perhaps you follow other channels, you might already be in the know as far as what's happening on the JP side. But if you don't, uh, they are basically explaining what the standby skill is um, after the fact that the units are out, which I think is kind of dumb. They should have probably explained this beforehand, but whatever. Uh, so they're explaining what the standby skill does kind of uh, putting it and contextualizing it uh, in the framework of an active skill. It's basically an active skill, but a little bit more specifically conditioned. They don't read all of this text. They kind of just try to explain it to you in layman's terms. Uh, and then they talk about how Piccolo and Goku were the first to do that. They worked very hard to bring these standby skills early to global players, uh, you know, just to, to make us feel special. But then they talk about how the eight year anniversary is coming up. And that is where another set of standby skill units are going to be dropping so then they introduced for the very first time you have never seen this before oh wait let me let me pause the let me pause the music for the very first time you've never seen this before whoa spirit bomb z so this is the eight year anniversary lr super saiyan 3 goku and super saiyan 2 vegeta and then this is super saiyan 4 vegeta and gt goku this is spirit bomb gt and spirit bomb z these are the two new headliners coming up during the eight year anniversary so they're showing us these units for the very first time on global we have not seen their animations yet on global obviously it's the same as jp but in terms of voice acting and all that stuff it's different that is not in this video but they basically just start talking about how these two units are from their respective series finales this one the super the spirit bomb z is against majin buu spirit bomb gt is against omega shonen at the end of the gt so they're basically just kind of hyping you up for that as for the much anticipated character animations and abilities, we will release them at a later time. Why are they doing this so early? Honestly, it's random, and I'm a little surprised that they did it, considering it is a day after, not even a day after, this is less than 24 hours after the part two banner released. I would take this as a big global W, because for those of you who are perhaps on the fence or perhaps unsure about maybe summoning for this unit, this Bulma unit, because there's no discounts, there's only a ticket, you might have seen some showcases you might be tempted this is a very nice wake-up call for you guys because this allows you to sort of uh, remind yourselves that the bigger prize is coming up in just over a month about a month and a half at this point um so we are getting very very close to the eight-year anniversary so it is a nice reminder to stop save your stones and definitely not spend on a banner with zero discounts so yeah if you haven't already seen my other videos where i say don't summon let me remind you don't summon it's not a good banner. If you do pretend, 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 potentially summon, you're probably doing it using the global tickets. That's about it. So uh, anyway, back to this. So what else do they talk about in here? Um, they really don't talk about much else. Actually, you know what? No, though, they do. We're going to be getting missions starting next week, actually. So let me pull that up. You're going to be getting missions. Here we go. The eighth anniversary countdown rapid growth special missions will start on the 21st. So this is going to be starting next week which is uh, right in line with our part two celebration. I don't even know if it was mentioned. Was it mentioned in the campaign details? We did get word of the upcoming update 5.1.1, or 1, 1, so that does kind of make sense. But in here, on the 21st, we don't have anything that would potentially coincide with that. Um, other than the fact that the support memory boost stuff is going to be starting the day after. Now, this stuff happened on JP, obviously, after the eight-year anniversary. So the fact that this was announced so early for global, I guess could have been a clue in hindsight. So I suppose this might've been one. Uh, last year, around this time, we did start to receive missions for the seven awakening masters or whatever. Last year, during the seven year anniversary, we obviously know that it was the, the GT Super Saiyan fours and it was the LR gods, but for their like preamble celebration or the, the missions that led up to the actual celebration, it was like seven weeks worth of stuff. It really had nothing to do with the LR gods or the LR Super Saiyan 4s. It was just a whole different thing. And that's kind of what this is, where um, obviously at the end, it's uh, the eight year anniversary is all about the spirit bomb, but Pan has nothing really to do with that. I mean, like kind of you can, but like 
it it's just they're just missions it's just an excuse to give you something that is supposed to be relevant for the eight year anniversary and i personally find this to be very useful because this will keep some of the more summoning prone tunes out there or summoning prone doconers out there a little bit more honest about saving their stones with these missions and with these little uh growth badges that you're going to be earning they're called growth badge two you will be able to redeem them for dragon stones or elder kai's in the baba shop starting from june 4th how many stones can you earn you can actually exchange them for up to 60 dragon stones 60 free dragon stones are going to be headed your way on top of everything else coming up from now until eight year anniversary so add 60 stones to that total and that is going to be how many stones you're going to have going into the eight year anniversary so this is kind of like last year when we had the dragon stone or or whatever it was called unrefined ore. you would exchange those for dragon stones this time around instead of kind of tantalizing you with an item that can be turned into dragon stones they're just going to give you the dragon stones i personally liked last year's approach better because it meant more people could save more stones instead of just using them on other banners but it is what it is 60 free stones is 60 free stones these will be available starting from june 4th the actual countdown events of the eight-year anniversary will start in june so we are getting closer to ramping up for the eight-year anniversary it will happen during the pre-eight-year dokon festival this is already going to be a snooze fest for a lot of you guys both parts one and two most of you are probably not going to be summoning some of you will be obviously because some of you guys like the characters but for most of you you won't be so this is now going to be hype time build up time save time and prepare for the eight year anniversary is there anything else worth pointing out here i don't want to make you guys sit through the whole video um oh yeah so we're also going to be getting tickets so the ultimate countdown tickets these eight year anniversary free tickets are then used to redeem for a free ticket summon now there's going to be several tickets that are going to be available during the eight year anniversary there's going to be coins there's going to be regular tickets there's going to be rainbow tickets so real quickly the tickets that we're talking about here the countdown tickets will go towards this right here this ticket summon eighth anniversary it's just basically free units free summons with a whole bunch of random ssrs featured in here some of them might be good some of them might not might not be but regardless they will be useful to you in a multitude of different ways chain battle fuel baba fuel super attack fuel whatever you're looking for these tickets will help you out and i think you can earn up to 80 of them let's scroll over here yeah celebration will give you up to 80 celebration tickets i'm gonna link this video to you guys so if you guys don't want to like sit through me rambling on you can always watch it yourselves but 80 tickets will be obtainable i think throughout the countdown leading into the eight-year anniversary so by the time we go in you will be able to do all of those summons which can be used in the anniversary ticket summon available during the eight year celebration and uh these aren't all the events that we're planning so this was really just like an announcement to let you know that the eight year anniversary is coming up so moral of the story don't summon save your stones ready up look forward to the future we are getting to some pretty cool stuff moving forward that's it video over guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like down below let me know the comments are you excited about the fact that they have announced this stuff so early are you happy are you sad by this are you one of those people who was potentially on the fence about summoning for the balma and this video sort of swayed you back into place and not summon how many stones do you have right now with 60 more how many stones will you have are you looking forward to the eight year anniversary units let me know your thoughts in the comments down below also be sure to subscribe for more dough content in the future and click the notification bell so that you let you know when to see more of my stuff do it Thanks again. Stay tuned and don't forget to Dokkan responsibly.